modern Stone Age family. From the town of Bedrock, they're a page right out of history. Let's ride with the family down the street, through the courtesy of Happy Feet. When you're with the Flintstones, have a yappa dabba do time, a dabba do time, you'll have a gay old time. Wilma, I was passing by this uh, travel agency today and I got to thinking how hard you work, taking care of Pebbles and me and the house, and uh, I decided you need a little vacation. Fred, how sweet. Are we going on a three-week tour of Europe? Not exactly. A two-week cruise through Hot Springs Glacier? Well, no. Okay, I give up. Break it to me gently. How about a one-day mini-ski vacation? Fred, you must be joking. One-day mini-ski vacation? Well, you certainly can't get any minier than that. And as far as vacation, I don't think I could relax my big toe in one day. And as for skiing, Fred Flintstone, you know I've never been on a pair of skis in my whole life, and I think it's too late to start now. That's just it, Wilma. It's never too late. Fred, you've already signed up. Well? Well? I signed up. It wasn't much money, and I, I thought it was a good way for us to find out if we like skiing. They give you lessons and skis and boots. Everything's included. Who knows, Wilma? We may like skiing. Well, I guess we'll survive one day. Did you mention it to Barney? Maybe he and Betty would like to come along. After all, misery loves company. Didn't I tell you? Barney was with me. He signed up, too. In that case, I'll call Betty and see if we can get that lovely babysitter, Mrs. Pitney, to watch Bebbles and Bam Bam. Children love her, and since we'll only be gone one day, she'll be able to manage with both of the little darlings. <laughs> Wake up, Fred. What time is it? It's the crack of dawn, and we've got to be up and out if we're going to take in all the fun of the great outdoors today. Up, up, up! Wilma! Fred! Are you ready? I am. But old Sleepyhead will be along in a few minutes. Now that we're ready to leave, I'm a little excited about the day. I've always loved those old movies like Serenade in the Snow with Rock Craig. I think I'm going to thank Fred for thinking of this. Uh, why don't we wait till we get back in one piece, Wilma? And then we'll thank Fred and Barney. <laughs> but you know, Wilma, I'm excited too. Mm. I fell asleep last night dreaming of skiing down the mountain. Wilma! Where's my long underwear? In the bottom drawer of your dresser, dear. And hurry! Remember, all we have is a one-day vacation. Barney will be here any minute with Mrs. Pitney. Uh, did I hear my name mentioned? Oh, hi, Barney. Hi, Mrs. Pitney. Fred, hurry! Pebbles and Bam Bam! Mrs. Pitney is here! <laughs> Mrs. Flintstone and I are so confident whenever we leave the children with you, Mrs. Pitney, you know just how to make them happy. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure, Mrs. Rubble. They are darling children. Now you all go ahead and have a good day. Don't worry about a thing. Except coming home in one piece. our boots and skis and poles. Where do we go, Betty? Well, an article I read said it's a good idea for beginners to take a ski class. You know, just to get the hang of it. And since we're all bunnies... I am not a bunny. And neither is Barney. Isn't that right, Barney? That's right, Fred. For your information, Fred, a bunny is the word that means you're an inexperienced skier. A beginner. All bundled up in those clothes, Fred. 
You do look sort of like a rabbit. <laughs> well, honey, beginner, whatever you call it, Barney and I don't need any ski class. Do we, Barney? We don't. I mean, we don't. The man who sold us the trip said, if you can walk, you can ski. So Barney and I are going to take the ski lift up the mountain and start skiing. Right, Barney? One day isn't much time, and we don't want to waste any of it in a silly ski class. Uh, are you sure, Fred? I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, you two can do what you like, but I go along with Betty's idea. Ski class suits me fine. I have a feeling that skiing is not quite as simple as it looks, and I'd rather learn from an expert before I go out alone. We'll see you boys later, back at the ski lodge for lunch. Be careful now. Don't take any wild chances. Don't worry about us. Do you think we're wasting our time going to ski class, Betty? Oh, I do not, Wilma. A few hours in ski class can make all the difference in the world. Well, you bunnies have done a fine job this morning. You have learned your lessons well, and now you are ready to go out on your own. Now remember all the things we have gone over and start on the lower slope. When you have mastered that, then you can go down the steeper mountains. Remember, a champion skier was not made in a day, a week, or a month. So easy does it, and good luck. Well, Perry, easy does it, and good luck. Yes, sirree. Easy does it, and good luck to you too, Wilma. Can you imagine? When we got here this morning, I didn't know anything about how to snow plow or hairy bone or stem turn, and now I'm so glad we went to class. I wonder how the boys are doing. Hmm, I was thinking the same thing. Gee, Fred, do you really think we should be going up so high? I, I mean, it's a long way down from here. Maybe we should have stopped at the first hill, way down there. We've taken three different chairlifts, and there aren't even any more skiers around here, Fred. They're all over somewhere down there. Barney, Barney, where is your spirit of adventure? Did you come here to rub elbows with the masses or to feel the excitement of the grandeur of nature? I mean, this is it, Barney. The top of the world. Our Mount Everest. Yours and mine. All around us. Nothing but clouds, blue skies, snow. And down below. Down below. What's the matter, Fred? I'm busy, Barney. I can't look down. What do you mean you can't look down, Fred? We got a ski down there. Uh, uh, I can't do it, Barney. Uh, I can't move my legs. They just won't move. Fred, get a hold of yourself. R remember the spirit of adventure, the grandeur of nature? Fred, remember Wilma and Betty. Fred, there's no other way down. We have to ski down or we'll be up here forever. Nobody will find us. Hey, Fred, talk to me. Gee, it was a great morning. That ski class sure helped. Say, the boys are awfully late for lunch, Betty, and I'm starved. Oh, dear. You don't suppose anything could have happened to them? Fred and Barney, don't be silly. <laughs> they never miss lunch, Betty. Not even for skiing. We better call the ski patrol and tell them Fred and Barney are missing. Mrs. Rubble and Mrs. Flintstone, there's no need to worry. Our rescue team will be arriving any minute with uh, Mr. Rubble and Mr. Flintstone. Rescue team? Oh, it's nothing serious. They're both perfectly all right. A little cold, perhaps. Oh, can you tell us what happened? Oh, it, it happens all the time. Your husbands thought that skiing was so easy they wanted to go to the highest mountain. Beginners often make that mistake. Overconfidence, you know. Then they get so frightened when they realize they have to ski all the way down that they can't move. 
But it teaches them a lesson. Oh, here they come now. Well, Ma? Yes, Fred? Make a reservation for Barney and me in the ski class. Always room for two more bunnies. <laughs> yabba dabba do. Have a yabba dabba do time. A dabba do time. You'll have a gay old time.